And I want to talk about seafood because research has shown that fish and shellfish contain healthy omega-3 fatty acids that can activate our health defenses. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. Dr. William Lee has just highlighted the remarkable benefits of seafood in activating our health defenses. Now, let's delve deeper into Dr. Lee's background and expertise. Dr. William Lee is a renowned physician and researcher specializing in the field of angiogenesis, the process by which blood vessels form and grow. His groundbreaking work has bridged the gap between nutrition and health, emphasizing the profound impact of diet on our overall well-being. Dr. Lee is the author of several best-selling books, including Eat to Beat Disease, which explores how specific foods can enhance our body's natural defense systems. Today, Dr. Lee will elucidate on the five defense systems that underscore why incorporating seafood and omega-3 into our diets is crucial for optimal health. Stay tuned as Dr. Lee provides invaluable insights into how these foods support our body's defenses against disease and promote overall wellness. Oh, a quick favor, we'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. As a researcher, I study how our body stays healthy because of our health defense systems. These defenses include our circulation, our stem cells, our healthy gut bacteria, our DNA, and our immune system. My work is focused on understanding how foods can help us fight disease by activating these health defenses. What I've discovered is that when it comes to food and health, it's not just about the food. It's about our, how our body responds to what we put inside it. Dr. William Lee has underscored how crucial it is to pay attention to what we eat, highlighting in his book Eat to Beat Disease that food can indeed be our medicine. He eloquently discussed the five health defense systems, shedding light on how our bodies respond to the foods we consume. Now, let's dive deeper into the benefits of incorporating seafood into our diets. Dr. Lee will elucidate on how seafood, rich in essential omega-3 fatty acids and other vital nutrients, plays a pivotal role in bolstering our health defenses. Stay tuned to discover why seafood is more than just a delicious meal. It's a powerful ally in our journey towards optimal health. Why is this important? Because studies have shown that people who regularly eat seafood have a significantly lowered risk of heart disease, diabetes, dementia, and even form some forms of cancer. How much do you need to eat? About three ounces of fish each time. That's about the size of a deck of cards, not much. Omega-3 fatty acids are extremely important when it comes to health, and they're found in all kinds of seafood. Tuna, salmon, halibut, arctic char, sea bass, sardines, anchovies, squid, mussels, and more. And lab research shows omega-3 fatty acids can help improve our circulation, and they can help improve the health of our stem cells that are needed for repairing and regenerating our organs. They help improve our gut health, they protect our DNA, and they also support healthy immune function. Now, if you live near a coast, chances are that you eat a lot of seafood. But if you in live inland today, it's possible to get almost every type of seafood flown to you or a nearby market flash frozen so everyone has a chance to eat to beat disease using seafood. Dr. William Lee has just highlighted why incorporating seafood into our diets is crucial. With studies demonstrating lower rates of heart disease, diabetes, dementia, and certain cancers among seafood consumers, it's clear that seafood offers significant health benefits. Dr. Lee recommends a serving size of 3 ounces to maximize the intake of omega-3 fatty acids, which play a pivotal role in improving circulation, supporting stem cells, enhancing gut health, protecting DNA, and boosting immune function all vital aspects of our health defenses. Frozen seafood. For those not living near coastal regions, Dr. Lee assures us that seafood that is frozen on the boat can be conveniently shipped to your doorstep. Now, let's explore some easy seafood dishes you can prepare at home to reap these health benefits. Dr. Lee will also delve into the importance of omega-3s in the food chain, from small fish to larger species, elucidating how each contributes to optimal nutrition. Omega-3s, you know, most people who uh, think about omega-3s sometimes think about a dietary supplement you can get at the drugstore or the grocery store. But in fact, these all omega-3s, um, they, they come from either plants or they come from the sea. And even in the sea, they come from oily fish contain omega-3 fatty acids. It's a, it's a kind of healthy fat, actually. Um, and, and as you know, from eating fish, that there are fish that are drier and there are fish that are oilier oilier. And the oily fish are oily because of omega-3 fatty acids. So where do they get the omega-3 fatty acids. It comes in 
um, uh, plankton and algae, which are the tiny little plants uh, uh, low in the food chain that small fish eat, right? When they're nibbling on the algae, they get the plant-based healthy omega-3s. And then when little fish eat them, um, and little fish, I mean, like anchovies and sardines, they're on a smaller side. Those fish are eaten by bigger fish, which then actually build up the omega-3s in their bodies, which are then eaten by bigger fish. It's mother nature's food chain. And actually it's mother nature's chain of stocking up on omega-3 fatty acids. So by the time you get to a salmon or tuna or some of these larger fish, you wind up actually having meats, the, the, the flesh of the fish actually contains a lot of these healthy omega-3 fatty acids. Now, here's the thing about omega-3 fatty acids. They're not really complicated. They make the fish, they make the flesh taste really good make it easy to cook. Um, uh, they make it easier to uh, develop flavors with. And every chef knows that if you're actually cooking with an oily fish, you can actually serve a better meal out of it. It's, you can make, serve a tastier meal that it's more versatile uh, as well. So omega-3s actually turn out to be one of those remarkable uh, natural fats that fatty acids that actually activate our body's health defense systems. When it comes to food and health, it's not just about the food. It, it's it's not just about like fish or, or or plants. It's really about how our body responds to what we put inside it. When you when you we put omega three fatty acids inside our body, it lights up our body's own health defenses. It helps our body work harder to defend our health in all kinds of ways that it works. It improves our circulation. It actually helps to elevate the numbers of stem cells in our bloodstream. This has been studied by people who are looking for um, studying regenerative medicine. And remarkably, they find that people who eat a lot of seafood have more um, stem cells floating around in the bloodstream, which actually regenerated from the inside out, better for your gut, better for um, uh, aging. Actually, it slows down cellular aging um, as the, the omega-3 fatty acids. And it seems to also improve immunity while lowering inflammation. So these are sort of the um, rock solid, hardcore scientific research things that are being done with omega-3. Dr. William Lee has just shed light on the omega-3 fatty acid hierarchy in the natural food chain from smaller fish to larger species emphasizing that bigger fish tend to be richer in omega-3s and boast a more robust flavor profile due to their oil content. These omega-3 fatty acids are crucial as they activate our body's health defenses, enhancing circulation, boosting stem cells, improving gut health, slowing down cellular aging, safeguarding DNA integrity, and fortifying our immune system while also lowering inflammation. As you consider incorporating more seafood into your diet, a delightful meal idea could be a grilled salmon served with a side of quinoa and steamed vegetables a perfect blend of omega-3s and nutritious ingredients. Next, Dr. Lee will explore the cultural diversity of seafood consumption worldwide showcasing how different cultures incorporate seafood into their diets and highlighting the unique health benefits associated with each culinary tradition. If you go to a, uh, a coastal town where fishing is the lifeblood of the people there, right? It's just pain of the backbone of the community. You'll, and you ask what people are eating. They're eating a, the, lots of different kinds of fish and seafood that are coming uh, off the boat from their nets. Um, and then even inland, as you were talking about this growing audience for seafood, you're getting people that are trying all kinds of different uh, uh, fish that's actually flash frozen from the boat and shipped over to them so they can try it. So diversity of, of the seafood is, is actually one of the big surprises, the joys. Listen, I, I, when I was growing up, um, I pretty much only really knew about salmon, right? And, um, and I think a lot of people are probably the same way. But think about it, you can have not only salmon, but halibut and tuna and shrimps and lobsters and squid. Dr. William Lee has just highlighted the incredible diversity of seafood available, showcasing a wide array of fish species that offer unique flavors and nutritional benefits. From salmon and tuna to sardines and mackerel, the variety is vast, catering to different tastes and preferences. If you're looking to explore seafood in your diet, Consider a delicious meal idea like a Mediterranean-inspired grilled shrimp skewers served with a side of couscous salad. It's not only a flavorful dish, but also rich in omega-3 fatty acids and essential nutrients. Next, Dr. Lee will delve deeper into the exploration of various types of seafood, discussing their specific health benefits and culinary versatility. 
Stay tuned to discover more about how different seafood choices can contribute to your overall health and well-being. There is a cherished tradition in many places around the world, like in the Mediterranean, uh, in Spain, Portugal, uh, France, and in Italy, where they actually tin, they can and uh, fish into tins. These little tiny tins are considered to be delicacies. Now here in America, we always think of canned fish like cat food, frankly. Um, but the reality is, is that it's really amazing. I, I really encourage people to try it because at the end of the day, regardless of what the health benefits are, and they're real, fish, seafood has to taste great. And that's where I think it's so meaningful to explore different types of fish that are out there. You know, try that halibut, try that tuna, try that shrimp, try the squid. You know, all of these things have some degree of omega-3 fatty acids. Um, and what's really amazing, and I wrote about in my book, Eat to Beat Disease, I created tables that list all the different kinds of seafoods that you can actually find either in the seafood counter area um, or in the frozen fish area. That's, what, that's really important. Um, lots of seafood, lots of lobster. Doctor, William Lee has emphasized the importance of trying different types of seafood to diversify your diet and benefit from various nutritional profiles. Taking small steps to incorporate new fish into your meals can be a great way to expand your palate and enhance your health. He also recommends complementing seafood dishes with healthy additions like spices and herbs for added flavor and health benefits. For instance, consider preparing a simple yet flavorful baked cod fillet seasoned with lemon, garlic, and fresh herbs. Pair it with a side of steamed vegetables for a nutritious and satisfying meal packed with omega-3 fatty acids and essential nutrients. Next, Dr. Lee will discuss the enjoyment of seafood and share further insights on how to fully appreciate and integrate these nutritious options into your diet. Stay tuned for more tips on making seafood a delicious and beneficial part of your culinary repertoire. A curry will actually have curcumin, which comes from turmeric, which actually is anti-inflammatory. It actually helps your blood cholesterol. So in addition, what, what's nice about combining, this is why I'm talking about the flavor profile, you, you then can take the best of the fish or the seafood, the omega-3 fatty acids, and combine it with all these other bioactives from healthy foods all together. Another good thing, you know, by the way, just as it um, is great for seafood that cooks really quickly, it's kind of a no-brainer um, uh, and easy as a start for a starter, you know, um, is to make a fish stew, a seafood oh. stew. Uh, you like a, a vegetable broth, you like a tomato-based broth. There's a lot of different ways of broth, put a little bit of saffron in it, you know, to, to flavor up. Now you're taking it towards bully base. And then you can take pretty much any frozen or fresh seafood that you can get your hands on. And, you know, you just pop it in there, cover it up and let, um, temperature do its thing in the broth. And when you're done with it, it's just the most amazing flavorful soup. And it's been almost no work. Uh, you just throw it in there. Right. And, and, um, uh, and if you throw enough in there, it really goes from being a stew to kind of like a mound of seafood that's in a little bit of broth. And then you can take some whole wheat bread and dip it in there. It's so versatile so versatile and these are the dr william lee has highlighted the benefits of combining seafood with other bioactive ingredients such as the curry flavor profile enriched with turmeric spice he suggests incorporating these flavors into dishes like stews and soups to maximize both taste and health benefits starting with a hearty seafood stew can introduce you to these delicious combinations while providing essential nutrients here are a few more ideas for healthy seafood meals that are simple to prepare. Okay, I think I'll have the um, the grilled salmon. Grilled salmon. One, grilled salmon with lemon and dill. Marinate salmon fillets with olive oil, lemon juice, garlic, and fresh dill. Grill until cooked through and serve with a side of steamed vegetables or a green salad. Two, shrimp stir fry. Sot shrimp with a variety of colorful vegetables such as bell peppers, broccoli, and snap peas. Add soy sauce ginger, and garlic for flavor. Serve over brown rice or quinoa. 3. Baked cod with herbs. Season cod fillets with a mixture of herbs like thyme, rosemary, and parsley, along with olive oil, salt, and pepper. Bake in the oven until the fish flakes easily with a fork. Serve with roasted vegetables. 4. Tuna salad lettuce wraps. Mix canned tuna with Greek yogurt, diced celery, and a squeeze of lemon juice. Season with salt, pepper, and a dash of paprika. Spoon the mixture into large lettuce leaves and wrap for a light and refreshing meal. 5. Fish tacos. 
Grill or bake white fish like tilapia or mahi-mahi. Flake the fish and serve in corn tortillas with shredded cabbage, avocado slices, salsa, and a squeeze of lime juice. These meals are not only delicious, but also packed with nutrients from seafood, making them excellent choices for incorporating more seafood into your diet. Enjoy experimenting with different flavors and ingredients to find your favorite seafood dishes. I think it's really about opening the eyes of people that are interested in health and interested in food to understand that you can, you can love your food and love your health at the same time. And to love your food, explore, see what other people are eating and, and realize that there's so much that we haven't even experienced yet and then go for those experiences. Please consider giving us a thumbs up sharing this video with your friends and family, and subscribing to our channel for more valuable content on health and wellness. Your support enables us to continue delivering essential information to assist you in leading a healthier life. Thank you for watching, and as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth and happiness, with the key to vitality in your hands.